everyone. Good morning and welcome. This is Ramola D from Ramola D Reports, and I'm here this morning with Let Freedom Ring podcast number. How you doing, folks? Chris Haskell here. This is Ramola D. Ramola D is an incredible woman. That is a reporter. She puts her her rear end on the line for reporting on stuff that nobody else wants to report on. Okay? This woman did a interview with me a little while back. And she it, she's got an amazing amount of work she's done in the past. But here I'm I'm here to tell you today Ramola D has committed no crimes. She has just simply been doing her job and informing the public about things that are going on currently. She did her, her last, she's got an amazing amount of work she's done. Um, they came last Friday, or last Thursday, I believe, and they picked this woman up and they are incarcerating her against her will. They're holding her on a 72 hour psych ward evaluation. Unbelievable. This woman, and I'll tell you, any, anyone that has any competence could speak to this woman for about two minutes and you can figure out that there is nothing wrong with this woman. She is in the, quite incredible, very articulate in her speech. But anyway, a friend of mine, Rob Rubin, called me to tell me about this occurring. She is being held right now against her will at a hospital in a mental ward. Okay? Ramola D. That's what she always goes by. Um, I, I do have her last name, but the main thing you need to know is Ramola D. And Ramola, she's being held at Kearney Hospital in Massachusetts. Kearney Hospital. And it's, it's really funny the way they're handling this. Well, really not funny. It's someone's life we're talking about. They're holding her against her will on a 72-hour hold. Now, they did this lot longer than 72 hours ago but they don't count weekends and oh Monday was a holiday so that doesn't count either so they're holding her against her will supposedly some neighbor had turned her in so yeah so you can call federal government you can and and you just say hey this person I don't think she's right and now does it come and pick her up arrest her put her in a mental war are you kidding me her husband's probably freaking out right now. She she wants everyone to know what they have done to her, okay? And they, she's at Kearney Hospital. Phone number being 1617-296-4000. Let me tell you what they do when you call them. Because apparently, I started calling yesterday. Well, I was still late in the, in the ball game. But what they do is if you call their number and you ask... Yeah, you, you you just have to hit a couple buttons. It's going to say uh, you want to speak in English. And you hit one, and then there should be a person to answer the call. And you say you want to get a message to a uh, uh, a person there, uh, a patient. And she said, okay, what's their name? And they'll, you tell them, Ramola D. Okay? You know what I said to the, I I'll tell you, I called there and I asked. I thought, well, they're going to have to know the last name, so, but even though Rob told me, just tell them Ramola D, they'll know who I'm talking about. So I need to give a message to have her call, because she's actually been able to call some people when they give her a message, and they've taken her phone away, but she uses their facility. So anyway, Ramola, they said to me, um, what's the person's name? I said, R-A-M-O-L-E. E, she stops me right there and says, says, there's no one here by that name. Uh, I didn't get to the, 
I didn't get to the D part even. Ah, uh, wow. She says, there's no one here by that name. I said, excuse me, ma'am. She, this woman is in your facility. She's being held against her will. And, uh, yeah, she is there. So that is false information. She said, there, D, can you hear me? There is nobody here by that name. Only thing I have told her is Ramola so far. Wow. So, I was, and check this out, I was told by Rob in advance what was going to happen if I called, and then if I called again. So, I waited a while, I called again, and sure enough, if you call again, now my phone number has been put, put into a loop. If you hit the number one for English, then it, it just goes back to the same recording, and we can do this in a continuous loop, okay? Um, I mean, this... This woman has done videos up to recent stuff about the vaccines and their harms and and the, the fact that that's just genocide. And then and then she, I don't know if it was uploaded yet, but she did an FBI one with a whistleblower or something to that effect. So, un unbelievable that they can do this. Folks, it's time for people to stand up. And if anybody knows who this Ramola is, D. And if you didn't, and this is the first you heard of her, please go on her website and go check out her stuff. All you gotta do is put in Ramola D, and it'll at least bring you up to some stuff. But I heard, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to YouTube, because there's, I heard there's even videos about her. This is the video she did. But I am going to go to YouTube, and see about, uh, is there a result when you search? So, I, I was told, and usually, this information is usually right, I'm going to search Ramola D, and what we're going to do here, oh boy, I don't know if I can do this while holding the video, look at it, hey, it even came up, this is Ramola D, D, okay, and let's see what happens, it should come up right if it was doing it right, it show us the most current uh, video with Romolo D's being mentioned in it, right? Yeah, well, no, this is a year old. Okay, so anyway, of course, the search didn't come up right. There, there, but I already, already did it. Oh darn it, I lost it. Okay, so Romolo D didn't come up with that, but if you do have the name, <clears throat> ah, here it is, Romolo D placed. In psych ward on 72 hour hold, you will be at Never Lose Truce video. And yeah, I guess it didn't uh, know the search results, just didn't know about that video. It was current, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you go to go watch that video, and it's telling you the same thing I am, maybe more information. So look it up, it's on uh, on Truth. <clears throat> Truth Never Lose Truce video oh gosh I I'm, I'm can't even think straight man I'm so pissed off so folks if you don't when you hear something like this we got this woman who is just an incredible woman if you you hear about this opening you don't just sit there and you just hold this information or even just tell people you knew you need to do something because folks when they come for you okay and then you look out to the, your own door and they're there for you they're there to pick you up. Lots of help from the federal police. It's too late at that point. Okay, do you understand? It's time to get up and do something. And I'm going to do more than just these phone calls, okay? Well, I'm going to call again, but now I can't get through because it just puts me to the loop. So here, and by the way, folks, so here's all you got to do. When you call that number, number being... It's Kearney Hospital, 617-296-4000, 296-4000, that's area code 617. Just go ahead and dial 296-4001, and guess what? It's going to work again, and then when they block you on that one, then you got to use 4002. So I, I'm gathering they've gotten a few hundred phone calls, and they need to get more, because if they're... 
you know what? How about we inform the, the folks that are answering the phone that yes, matter of fact, anybody involved in the partaking of an illegal detainment will be charged with criminal charges, felonies. And that's her. She, if, she, if we find that she's even lying to us, that woman working at the hospital needs to be held on criminal charges here. Felony criminal charges. So I explained it to the woman. She wasn't really happy about it. I said, ma'am, I just for legal reasons, first I want to let you know this phone call is being recorded, but for the purpose of the lawsuit, I want you to understand that you will be held yourself on criminal charges for lying to the public about about individuals or being involved in the illegal incarceration of her. They didn't like they didn't like that. Yeah. She hung up and I, I don't know, I'm just waiting for them to show up at my friggin' door. But, folks, this is ridiculous. This is what happens. When? Right now. You have no freedoms. We have no freedoms, folks. This woman is the most competent woman I've probably ever met in my life. Anybody with a half a brain can figure this out. <coughs> folks, <coughs> Ramola D. wants everyone to know that she is right now incarcerated in a psych ward. She's at Kearney Hospital, Massachusetts. Kearney, C-A-R-N-E-Y. There's other letters going around. My friend, I want to shout out Rob Rubin for letting me know about this. I'm just pissed. This is bullshit. I don't care if they come and take me to jail for, for my actions. Okay? Because it's the last chance you got, folks, when this is going on. Okay? So you're going to wait? Or you're one of the just the other sheeple that do nothing? Well, God... This is not right. Something needs to be done about this. And we're going we're gonna to help her in every way possible. Why not? Put it on the line. Who friggin' cares? Does, does it matter? You're going down anyway. Fucking who cares? Chris Haskell. Reporter. Oh my god. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna... I... go ahead. Do what I'm you can. Say that people a lot of the people that have been, I don't know, res, full time residents of Tucson, they generally in the background knew knew me when we were not really in about me. They knew my oh, side right sure. here. Folks So good something. afternoon, everyone. Welcome. This is Ramola D from Ramola D Reports, and I'm here today with a very special guest. I'm here with Chris Haskell, the legendary Tucson chemtrails and geoengineering activist. He's also an intermedia producer and a filmmaker, and um, hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more from him in that in that uh, department, filmmaking and documentaries. Um, but I'm very keen to hear the story of Chris Haskell's long um Chemtrails activism. He's somebody who became very famous in Tucson and I guess in the whole of Arizona by reason of his signs. He's, he's been very creative with his signs and he's put signs up um, about various things, I think, but I thought primarily about geoengineering and the chemtrails, but I'll find out a little bit more in just a minute, um, all over the city. And, you know, he clearly drew the attention of many people. And uh, unfortunately, toward the um, later part of his uh, sign, uh, sign career, I guess, uh, Chris has um, had run-ins with the FBI. And so I guess we'll find out more about that as well. Um, so Chris, first of all, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so keen to hear your story. Thank you. I, I appreciate being here. You haven't figured it out. She is, Absolutely. Um, she is just awesome. Yeah. yeah I, I, go ahead. I was just going to say that people, a lot of the people that have been, I don't know, res, full-time residents of Tucson, Okay, they folks, in the background we got to do something. Me when we are another, but we got to do something for her. Sides, you know, you know, 
I, why I'm even bothering to make this video makes me just wonder. You know, you know what shadow banning is? If you don't really know what it means, is is uh, they'll take your channel and they'll make sure it's basically no one's going to see it. So I understand that that this video is probably only be seen by about 23 people. But I need to get that air message out. It is my duty to anyone that I can, and this is my media platform, even though they've shut it down. You can't even find my videos when you know the name of them directly. But I'm not going to sit here and do nothing when this happens to our fellow patriots. And she's one of the best I know. Have a good day. Rob, you're calling me right now.